Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is a Barnes & Noble Nook tablet, which is a 7-inch tablet that originally ships with a custom version of Google Android 2.3 designed to interact with Barnes & Noble's ebook store and uh, uh, app store. But an unofficial software update is now available, which lets you run Google Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. Um, you'll need to root the tablet and um, install some custom firmware to do this. It might or might not void your warranty, depending on whether you're able to sort of recover the tablet to its original conditions. But it uh, does let you run the latest version of Android on the tablet, which is uh, pretty nifty. And it runs pretty well for the most part. This is still an early build. Uh, the developer still has a couple of kinks to work out. From time to time, it just randomly reboots. So uh, that could be a little bit of a problem, whether you're reading a book or watching a video or doing something else. And the microphone doesn't work. So for instance, we do have support for uh, the new Google Now feature, which um, shows you sort of these cards and uh, pops up details depending on different circumstances. So when it thinks that it, you want a weather forecast or so forth, it might bring you that. Um, I find that it doesn't tend to, uh, Google now doesn't tend to show me information very often on its own, but it's also sort of tied into the search function. And there should be a voice search function here, but you'll notice every time I hit the microphone, nothing happens. And that's because this uh, current build, the microphone doesn't work yet. Again, uh, the developer is working on that. Hopefully the reboot problem will be fixed at some point. Hopefully the microphone will start working at some point. But right now, those are sort of the two biggest problems with this. And uh, battery life really isn't as good as it could be. That said, touch works, Wi-Fi works. You can see that uh, the web browser works. YouTube works. And there is support for hardware video acceleration. So if I take a quick look here, should be able to watch a high definition video. That's me holding another 7-inch tablet in a video. It's very meta. But it's high definition, uh, 720p, and it works just fine. Uh, same goes for Netflix. It should work pretty well. Uh, it doesn't load super quickly, but once you uh, start playing videos, they look just fine on this. So, uh, you know, there you go. Most of the important things are working. Now, you do get this sort of um, user interface that's divined, uh, designed for 7-inch tablets. So you see that the notification area comes down from the top instead of up from the bottom. If you wanted to change that, you could try changing the um, um, some of the settings using ROM Toolbox. You can go in and essentially change the, uh, the DPI. But uh, for the most part, it uh, works a lot like the Google Nexus 7. Um, but with a 1024 by 600 pixel display and no cameras. Uh, the Nook tablet is a little bit cheaper than the Nexus 7, starting at 179 for a version with 8 gigs of storage, and it has one feature that the Nook tablet does not, which is a micro SD card slot, so you can add extra storage space. So, uh, if you happen to have one of these lying around already and you want to be able to run Android 4.1, now you can do that. Um, if you were thinking about picking up a tablet and you really just don't want to get one that doesn't have a micro SD card slot, then this is an alternative. Uh, this is almost a year old at this point, so I wouldn't be surprised if Barnes & Noble has a new model uh, on the horizon. Um, but for now, it's the uh, pretty much the best tablet available from Barnes & Noble, and now it's capable of running both Android 4.1 or the original software that came with it, which is the BNN version of the uh, Android 2.3 operating system. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing and a quick look at Android 4.1 based on CyanogenMod Mod 10 on the Barnes & Noble Nook tablet. This uh, is the one gigabyte 
of RAM version with 16 gigs of storage. There is also a version with 8 gigs of storage. Uh, this should work on that as well. But again, it's a work in progress, so don't expect everything to work perfectly right away.